Open Heavens on the Go, Tuesday, June 6th, 2023. Topic, Light Up, Part 1. Memory Verse, John 8, 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Bible reading, Isaiah 60, 1 to 3. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. The Message For the next few days, we will be discussing the nature of light and what it means to be lit up. 1 John 1 5 says that God is light. The color of pure light is white, but when you pass it through a glass prism, it breaks up into the seven colors of the rainbow red, orange, yellow green, blue, indigo, and violet. For this series, however, I'll focus on the colors red, yellow, green, and blue. Red is the color of danger. Hebrews 12, 29 says that God is a consuming fire, meaning that God is indeed powerful, and not someone to be toyed with. If you don't believe me, ask Pharaoh. When you carry the light of God in you, you become a danger to the enemy. That is why 1 Chronicles 16.22 says, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Red is also the color of blood, and Revelation 12, 11 says that the saints overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. There is so much power in the blood of the Lamb that you can use it to overcome Satan. The red in the light of God within you will make you dangerous and give you power to overcome the devil. Red also signifies the stop sign. When the traffic light goes red, you know you have to stop. Exodus 12, 23. Once you are lit up by the light of God, when evil sees you, it will stop. Some years ago, a woman came to me and said money kept disappearing from their house. Initially, she and her husband suspected each other of stealing the money until one day they confronted each other and discovered that neither of them was the culprit. This meant they were in real trouble. I understood what was happening immediately, especially because the husband used to be deep in the occult before he became a Christian. I then told them that they should always cover their money with the blood of Jesus so that any time the devil came to steal it, he will find the blood of Jesus covering it and leave. From that day on, they never lost anything again. I decree today that you, your children, and property are covered in the blood of the Lamb, and from now, when death sees you, it will stop in Jesus' name. Key point. When you carry the light of God, you become dangerous to the enemy. 
Bible reading in one year. Psalms 1 to 8. Hymn for today. All hail the power of Jesus' name. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.